Hello everyone, this is Jack from OneSite Solutions and today I'm going to describe and explain how to implement the best security practices for a Niagara 4 system. While it is impossible to make any system completely impenetrable, there are many ways to defend a system and ensure it is more resilient to attacks. There are many ways to make a Niagara 4 system completely secure and some of these are by configuring passwords, system passphrases, configuring the platform account management, the station account management, the role and permission management, authentication, TLS and certificate management, module installation, and further additional settings. And in this video, I'll explain some of them for you. Please note that while all these steps should be taken to protect your Niagara 4 system, they do not ensure for a magic defense, as there are many factors that may affect your security, and vulnerabilities in one area can affect security in another. In Niagara 4, password strength is enforced by the password strength property on the authentication scheme which can be found by going to the following directory. First you've got to head over to your station, go under config, services, authentication service, and you click on authentication scheme, then you want to head to the AX property sheet or the property sheet, wherever you prefer and then choose which scheme you are desiring. I'm going to play around with the normal digest scheme today. Then you want to go to global password configuration right here. By default, passwords are required to be at least 10 characters in length, contain at least one digit, one uppercase, and one lowercase. This is the normal recommended industry standard for most applications. However, systems with higher security requirements can configure the password strength. Even though the password strength can be increased, it is never recommended that you decrease it. In this part of the video, I'm going to explain the user lockout feature. This is placed inside of the user service and allows Niagara to lock out a user after a specified number of failed login attempts. That user is not able to log back in into the station until the lockout is removed. This helps protect the Niagara 4 system against attackers trying to guess or force their way into a station. To be able to access the user lockout feature, you need to head to the user service, change your view to the AX property sheet, and here we have it. In this part of configuration, you have four different configurable options that can be suited to your needs. Here we can see the lockout period, which determines how long a user is locked out for. Even for short periods, for example 10 seconds, this can be quite effective at blocking people from forceful attacks without inconvenience any other users too. There is also the max bad logins before lockout. That one's pretty self explanatory. Here we can see the lockout window. The user is only locked out if the specified number of login failures occurs within the time set in the lockout window. This will help separate any suspicious activity. For example, if a user fails to log in 10 times in 30 seconds, as opposed to 30 times in a year, the system will be able to differentiate between the two. The last one is the default auto log off period. This is where you can configure how long a user is kept logged in for while being away from their system. This will stop anyone just jumping in your system if you leave your desk or anything like that. In Niagara 4, users' passwords can be either set to expire after a specified day or after a certain amount of time. This ensures that old passwords are not kept around and reused to the point of security risk. If an attacker acquires a password, it is only useful for them until the password is changed, so I'd ensure for maximum security that you have this set up. Like the other configuration options, the expiration settings are configured on the global password configuration property sheet, as well as on the individual user service too. To have a play of this, you want to go to the same authentication service as before, as you can see, you want to head to your scheme, then your global password configuration, and here you can see the stuff that you can configure. The default value for this is 365 days, but the standard in the industry is probably around 90 days. Here you also have a warning period. This specifies how far in advance the user is notified. 30 days is the default for this, but generally 10 to 15 days would be enough. Instead of setting the whole station to expire passwords, you can either choose specific users, 
So if you head over to the user service, choose which view you would like. X user manager for me, it's quite easier. Click on the user you'd like to configure, which I only have one here. And then you can set it to expire right here. Change the date, change the time. And there we go. In Niagara 4, authentication schemes can be configured to remember users' passwords. Password history is used to ensure that when a user changes his password, that they do not choose a previously used password. Much like the expiration feature, the password history prevents users from using passwords indefinitely. This can be configured to whatever you may need. To be able to configure this, just like before, you need to head to the authentication service, authentication schemes, whatever scheme you'd like, global password configuration, and password history length. This password needs to be set at a non-zero value, so 1 to 10, but the maximum you can have is 10. There we go. Save that. Another extremely useful tool is the password reset feature. This is particularly useful when creating a new user. For example, when a first time user logs in, they can create a brand new password only known to them. This password reset feature is also extremely useful to ensure that a new password policy is enforced for all users. For example, if a station has changed to require strong passwords, the existing passwords may not be suitable for the password policy, forcing the users of that station to reset their password so that they can follow the rules of the station. To be able to change this, you have to head to the user service, then click the user you'd like to edit. You can simply just change force reset and next login to true. And the next time they log in, they'll be forced to reset their password and possibly to comply to the new password rules you have set beforehand. As you may or may already not know, each JACE or device is shipped with a default system passphrase of Niagara. So when commissioning a new JACE, you should always change the system passphrase from default to something different and unbreakable. The default passphrase is typically well known and easily guessed, even if they are unknowing of the fact that Niagara is the preset passphrase. Leaving the system passphrase at the default value leaves your sensitive data open to attack. To change the passphrase, if you haven't during the commissioning process, you'd have to go to the platform administration. To then change the passphrase, you simply click system passphrase, where you have to enter your current passphrase, and then enter your new passphrase. Please remember, the passphrases normally have to be 10 characters, have one digit, one lowercase, and one uppercase character for full security. After going through all these different processes, it'd probably be worth having a look at the security service in your services directory, just to have a look around. This can be found in the user service, simply here. Click on your security service, and here you have the dashboard. The security service will tell you high alerts, things that they think you should change, good things that you're doing, and then some basic information. If you're running on a supervisor that has JSES directly under you, you can also view all these separate stations down here, which I'm not, so you can't see unfortunately. Or you can click on each section and actually go to the properties of each segment to see where you can make changes, like so. This will give you some more information in a bit more detail to sort of give you underlying problems. It will also tell you everything good that you're doing too. This is my brief introduction to Niagara Security. Obviously there's a lot more to go through and if you have any questions or queries, please let me know. I'm sure I can answer for you. Thank you very much for watching. Any feedback would be greatly appreciated. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe.